Time for another all aboard layout update. Haven't done too much. I've done some work though. I have weathered a couple train cars and done some work on the mountain scene. So first off, we'll start off and see what I've weathered. Alright, we're here at my workbench and uh weathered this rail box box car in this CNJ mill gondola here. I have uh, used airbrushed and some paints for both of them. Just uh, faded the rail box, put a light coating of dirt and dust at the bottom. Got painted the wheels and the couplers that you can see there. So I thought this one turned out really good. My first uh, real weathered train car using the airbrush. And then over here we have the uh, mill gondola. Same thing. Put a little heavier on this one. Not too heavy. A few uh, spots with rust there. Same with the weather, the couplers, and the wheels. There I added the uh, roller bearing cap. Put a little blue on it as a new wheel there. So I think these, these turned out really well. So tell me what you think. I would consider selling them if anyone's interested. So if you're interested, put a comment. Not for sure selling them, but just a thought. So let me know if you're interested. And next we'll go see what I've done to the layout. Alright, we're over here in the mountain area at the first bridge. Now over here there used to be pretty big holes right here and there and there. I finally got those holes filled in. I used uh, some wood and I uh, cut it to fit there. Uh, turned out pretty good. I'm not having the problems I was. The track's nice and level. I added plaster cloth all along there to hide the wood and I had uh, you can see all these cardboard strips there. I had to do that to elevate it. And then the bridge is, since it's one of my old dad's, slightly warped. So you can see here this water bottle is hanging here. As you, you can't see it. There's a piece of fishing line. And I'm having to use that to uh, hold the bridge down because it was warped. And trains would derail and stuff. So got that held down. And the track's nice and smooth. See, there's a screw there. That's probably just temporary. So, done quite a bit of work over here. Took a lot longer than I expected. Expected maybe like 30 minutes. Ended up taking like three hours to do this. So, took quite a while, but happy with the results. So, that's it for over here. And now we're over on the Indiana Railroad part of my layout. I've done a little bit of work, not too much though. I've added a little bit of ballast on the close track here. And then back here, I've added some cork here. So for this is finished, all I need to do is add the track right along here. And I've weathered the rails, as you can see, right there where I haven't wasn't able to get because I ballasted over it. What I what I use to weather the rails is. This Rust-Oleum uh, brown, just a primer, spray paint. I'll do that and then I'll take a Bright Boy and go over the rails, clean them off. Gives it a really nice effect. It's not so shiny. Makes it look weathered and everything. So it makes it look a lot better than once it's ballasted. As you can see, there's two different colors of ballast. I ran out of the uh, ballast I used on the main. And I got a little for that diorama I've make, I'm making, so I just used this other ballast. I'll finish that with this color. So it looks like they used a different grade of ballast, maybe a cheaper one for the siding and the industries here. So I think this turned out pretty good. Be a nice, fun switching area once it's finished. That's it for this layout update, so I'll see you guys next time.